All right, now, it seems like I have accidentally jumped into a stream of lava while I was trying to get to a ghast tier, so looks like I died, and that kind of really sucks. Um, now, I'm not really sure why I can't respawn. I don't know why this is kind of glitching out. Uh, although, anyways, I had with me probably a stack of cooked uh, chicken. Uh, I had, uh, let's see, I think I had almost two stacks of, um, of ladders. Probably, I had a lot of tools with me, a stack of wood, just uh, some torches. I think only one torch or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, and I can't figure out why these are kind of like, uh, I mean, I mean, the thing is, this isn't hardcore mode, so I'm not sure why I can't press respawn. This is just really weird. Let me just try to going into, uh, maybe it's because I went to full screen mode. Let me try to see what I can do. I'll just, uh, probably, uh, stop filming now. Alright guys, welcome back. I have now respawned. Uh, it seemed like I just had to, uh, I had to X out Minecraft and then start it up again. Um, now anyways, uh, what I'm just gonna do now is I gotta go ahead and get my stuff back. There are still a few stuff. There are still a few things that I might be able to get back and that's why I'm just taking some wood out of here. Let me just craft some type of sword. Let's see, do I have any... I don't think I have any, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna take my iron sword with me. Wow, this is, uh... I'm taking quite a bit of a risk, but I don't want to, uh, take a wooden sword with me, so I'm taking an iron sword with me. Anyway, just to recap what happened... Wow, this is kind of weird. I actually, I actually put this fence gate up here specifically so that zombie pigman wouldn't spawn, but it seems like he actually spawned past that point. So let me just try to get him out of here. Uh, Freaking, this is just really annoying. Uh, holy crap! Um, I kind of want to hit him, but oh, there we go, there we go, nice. Okay, anyway, there was just a ton of gas shooting at me and. I killed a ghast which was over here, and then I was walking over here, and then what I did is I was going to run up, and then I was going to basically run and do this, but I accidentally kind of slipped and fell, and what that led to is that I fell into the lava underneath there. Uh, now, how am I going to be able to get down safely? Oh my god, I might actually die right now as well. Um, I'm just going to try to jump down, actually. Oh, I can still see the XP from the... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna die or not, uh, although, uh, I, I might probably, I might die, but I might not, let's see. There we go, it's not too bad. I didn't lose all my health. Uh, anyways, let's see, let's salvage what we can, let's see. Uh, I was able to salvage, let's see, I did hear a lot of things burn up, I think I, uh, what really did I lose? I don't think I really lost that much, uh, now actually, as far as other things goes, I did I did get a lot of, um, this is why I hate lava streams so much. Anyway, uh, so I finished that, I finished my, uh, glass tube off camera that I was, uh, making, uh, well, I mean, all the way up to my, uh, to the island on top. I haven't, have not actually made a dock yet, and, in fact, let's see, how come gas don't drop anything now? Let's see, I my yeah, I'm on hard, that's why uh, I died so quickly. And that's why actually so many gas were spawning, it's weird. Looks like all the gas despawned. It, ha it so happens that when you... And of course, just when I said that for some reason there's no gas down here, exactly at that same point, that's when a gas spawned. It's like he knew he was listening to me and he was just waiting to spawn. Um, anyway, so actually the whole reason why I even went to the nether is, I think I lost quite a bit of pickaxes, anyway, I'm not even sure exactly, oh, I did lo lose some torches, uh, well, I think I did have some, uh, I think I had a little bit of a glass with me, Ma maybe, I think, oh, I think I had some netherrack with me, I think, um, I think I had, oh, yes, I think I had more sticks with me, but I'm not sure, 
Uh, anyways, actually, the whole reason why I went... Oh, I also lost some uh, shovels. Anyway, the whole reason why I went to the nether in the first place was to get some soul sand to create a dock, but I just got really distracted by the gas, and I tried to go and um, get some gas tears from him, uh, but that's what exactly compromised me. So, anyways... Um, now, I was actually planning to do this off-camera, but since I epically failed and died, I'm just going to do this uh, on-camera. I freaking hate Soul Sand. Oh, he's going to start shooting at me. Oh, there you go, there you go. We're, we're pretty safe from that, and there's always fires burning everywhere. Uh, I also actually... I also kind of upgraded my base a little bit right here, as you can see with these fence gates and a little bit with this area here. I'm, I might probably just have to upgrade a little bit further since it seems like it's hard to access this. Anyway, let me just drop down my iron sword down there and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also lost some... I had a, I had quite a bit of stone with me. Yes, yes. I had quite a, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use my uh, iron sword while mining. I hope I don't die again, but it's really going to suck. I might lose this iron sword, but I just really don't want to go uh, go back to my base to get more uh, stone. Or I guess I can mine some stone here, but I really like this iron sword, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Uh, I'm just probably going to get a stack or so. Oh my god, that I just had a mini heart attack. How did I not see that coming? What if there was a lava lake down there? The same fate would lead me to death as I just burned up in lava just now, so... Kinda really sucks. Well, I'm glad I didn't die at least just now. I mean, at least I still have my, uh, iron sword. But, I shouldn't say that because we know what happened last time I said... Almost just hit that zombie pigment. Uh... I know, we, we both, we all know what happened last time when I said that the gas, for some reason there's no gas spawning, and then just right when I said that, that's exactly when I gas spawned. Uh, it's kind of interesting, there we go. Got uh, 59, 60, just got a little bit more. Uh, actually, I kind of even want to mine out some of this uh, soul sand just because it's just so slow to walk on. I don't, I don't like walking on this. Uh, just probably going to make this look nice. What kind of always interested me is how come, um... How come soul sand does is not subject to gravity? Like all all other types of sand, if they float like this, then they're just gonna fall down. But soul sand, for some reason, is able to hold its place. Um, I guess it's being lifted by the souls inside the sand, which are trying to go up into into the heavens, but they're stuck down here in the nether forever, or some I don't know, or some stuff like that. Um, Okay, now I'm just going to try to collect some gravel. I might need some flint in the future, maybe. I don't really think I'm going to be making really much things out of uh, out of flint, like flint and steel, but uh, flint can be useful at times. Uh, now let me think. One thing that I might do is, I guess I might, uh, I might make some arrows out of flint, but that's not really useful. I mean, think, seeing how... I have a huge mob grinder, which provides me with much more arrows than I really ever even need. Um, but, just so, I just want to collect a stack of uh, gravel, just so I have some, in case I ever need gravel. Uh, and also kind of clears up the landscape a little bit too, so, uh, I guess I'm going to try to, uh, there you go, I still have some. I'm going to try to mine out just a little bit of ledge here, so I could, uh, so I could walk up here. Uh, and then just, I'm just gonna fill this up, uh, gas destroy all this stuff here. Um, anyways, so uh, let's see, how much more, we just need a little bit more gravel, and then we'll have, uh, we'll, I'll have more than I need. Now, what I was gonna probably do in this episode is, I think now that I have started filming, I'm just probably going to go ahead and try to build a redstone activated uh, dock type of system on camera. Uh, I might, or I might just do it off camera and then just cut filming and uh, proceed to do something else. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, looks like I need everything here. Uh, it's kind of, uh, Seems to be kind of very useless, seeing how it doesn't really do anything to prevent um, zombie pigment from spawning. Now, I was thinking about expanding my nether base, but I think the only thing that I'm going to do with my nether base is I'm just going to add some more um, 
add some more cobblestone here just to make sure that I can reach the cobblestone without having this netherrack. Because if all this netherrack basically gets uh, shot up by gas, then it's no good. And I'm just gonna line this whole kind of little island. There's a, there's a, oh my god. There's a magma slime. Ooh, I gotta go kill. I gotta go take that. I just can't pass up this opportunity. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I'm gonna line up. I'm gonna line this whole little island with um with cobblestone just so it would be gassed immune. So, but other than that, I don't really think I'm gonna expand my base much. I don't really think I need a bigger base in the Nether. It's not really like I have anything to do in the Nether here. Um, okay, there's some lava. That's pretty dangerous. Um, what kind of blocks can I use to walk around? Oh, there's a little mushroom here. Uh, I guess I could just go up here and then just uh, evade the lava from there. Uh, there we go. Nice, nice. Um, looks like we're pretty low, low down. It seems like I could get a, go a little bit higher. I think, I think the first place where I'm gonna start searching for um, um, a fortress would be somewhere in that direction where um, somewhere in that direction where. Um, where this large cavern is. Let's see, where is the magma slime? There we go, there we go. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. I don't want it to fall down in there because I'm gonna have to collect the, if if any of uh, the smaller slimes, if I get any of the smaller slimes, then they're just gonna fall down and I don't need that to happen. Let me just extinguish some of this fire here. Um, I want to kill it on this plane here so that, uh, oh my God, it's so large. Ooh. Yeah, these are pretty difficult to kill. Ooh, we got a, we got a magma cream. Actually, unlike I think that unlike some of the other slimes, these uh, these slimes deal a lot of damage, probably more damage than uh, other slimes do. And also, these slimes they drop much less uh, much less uh, you can get much less loot from them than the regular slimes because from each of one of these little slimes, I pretty much always get at least one. Um, at least one s slime ball, or about, well, very rarely I get none, but I pretty much always get one, but from these you rarely get any, and I, I just got only one magma cream from killing a very large slime. Uh, now I was thinking, uh, I think I might, if I, if I ever expand my base or make more farms, I was thinking about mining some of this netherrack, because, um, Netherrack is quite uh, important. Well, I mean, no, it's it's not 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 that it's important. It's just that uh, I could use I could craft it into um, n into quartz blocks, and then I could use those quartz blocks to make things look good. I could I might I might actually I might actually as well use it to uh, make my dock. So just to make it look better. Um, now, anyway, also one one of the other things that I kind of lost when I was when I died is my uh, XP. If you ever noticed before, I had a really large amount of XP before, but uh, now that I've uh, died, I have very little XP now, um, which is kind of disappointing. Because um, I had, I think I had like almost a level, I had level 51 or so. I mean that's that's quite a bit of XP that I lost there, so that's uh, a little bit problematic. But other than that, I don't really think I lost anything that can't be recovered. I mean, it's not like I was carrying anything like an iron sword or something like that. Um, and even then, things like that can actually be pretty easily recovered. And I'm just I'm just gonna mine some of this uh, netherrack also not only to get nether quartz, but also because I want to. Um, I want to get more XP because, as we know, mining nether quartz actually gives you a lot of XP, and it's actually a good way to get a lot of XP. Uh, and even then, if I am ever going to need XP, because obviously it's only useful if you have an enchanting table, which I plan on having in the future, uh, then I could always make, I could always, uh, I guess, build an XP farm or convert my existing grinder into an XP farm, and then that way. I am. Uh, I'm going to have as much uh, as much XP as I, as I uh, however much I want to have. Uh, wow, there's even a second ca cavern here. There's quite a bit of caves here. I guess I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna um, mine nether quartz until I have uh, a stack of nether quartz. That way, I'm gonna be able to craft. I think 16. Yes, 16 nether blocks. I mean nether. Uh, I mean quartz blocks, because uh, we all know that they take uh, up. 
that one that you need four nether quartz blocks to make one nether uh one quartz block you need four nether quartz uh, yeah you need four nether quartz to make one nether uh i mean i mean you need four nether quartz to make one quartz block um, let's see i kind of want to go down there uh, oh Oh, that's kind of dangerous. If I hit him, then all the zombie pigmen would have just completely went crazy at me. Um, there we go. Looks like we got down here pretty well. Uh, now, if I had any torches, then that would be pretty useful because that way I would be able to... Uh, basically, if I ever come here again, then I'm going to see that I was here by the torches. But um, seeing how... I'm gonna mine out the nether quartz. If I ever come here, then I'm gonna know that. Wow, well, that was kind of dangerous. Um, I'm still gonna know that I was here before. Uh, but anyway, nice. There we go. I really like those flat deposits of uh, nether quartz on the floor because that way you don't really have to go into caves or up high or on the walls to reach them. Um, as you can see, there are actually very useful nether quartz. Very useful for. Uh, making for getting uh, XP because I have just I've just been at level zero as far as XP goes and then I have mined less than a stack of nether quartz or and now I am up to level 12 which is actually not bad um, I wouldn't really need to be at level 50 anyway because the highest enchantment that I you know that I can get is only as high as level 30 at least without using mods. There are actually mods that allow you to, and even actually in vanilla Minecraft you can uh, enchant uh, things to higher levels than you would be able to uh, if you were to use Minecraft without commands. But since I'm just playing Minecraft Survival, there's really no point in uh, having a level higher than 30. Uh, now anyway, I just got a little bit more than I need, but that's just fine. When there's a little magma cream, let's see if you can give us anything. Nope. Well, at least we got a piece of XP from him, so that's always better than nothing. Oh. Let me just eat some chicken. And of course, I'm going to be collecting all this, um... Now, I kind of want to get a little bit uh, of, um, glowstone while I'm in the nether, just because, uh... I need a little bit more glowstone to complete, uh, what I want to complete. Uh, I mean, it's really dangerous doing this around uh, the lava because we know that, uh, because we know that if the, wow, we even got some gravel falling down here, because we know that if the gas shoots down here and then there's a small chance that we might actually, uh, I mean, there's quite a substantial chance that we might actually die by standing here because, uh, if the gas shoots at us, like just now, and then if I had stayed there, that might have gotten me pushed down into the lava, and then I'd uh, pretty much definitely die. Okay, I hope that doesn't hit the glowstone. Yeah, I really hate when the gassed fireballs hit glowstone because uh, that kind of kind of leads to a lot of the glowstone being uh, being submerged into lava. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we definitely have enough glowstone. Uh, we have four blocks now. So now it's time to head back to our nether portal to go back to netherworld. I mean, to the overworld. Uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure I went somewhere here. Yep. This is a very nice cavern here because it allows me to uh, circumvent that cliff over there. I kind of like these caves because um, I get to avoid gas as much as I can. Um, and especially when I'm in... Wow, this is, kinda da this is a little bit of a dangerous spot here. I could have fallen into the lava there. Uh, but anyway, I like uh, caves, and I don't always really like open, large open spaces here. And I like to say that my nether, my nether base isn't at a very good spot because it's not. It's very. Ooh, another. I have another one here. Let's see if we can get any. Uh, probably not gonna get any. Yeah, there we go. We didn't get any uh, magma queen, but at least we have one, and that's more than enough. Um, I'm just gonna pick that up later. So, like I was saying, my base is at a very strategically not a very good place because uh, it's kind of uh, in in an opening. So, if you think about it, there's in these like really large open areas. That's where a lot of gas tends to spawn, especially down down these lava lakes over there, as demonstrated. 
Um, but anyway, this is, although on the other hand, this is a good place to search for nether fortresses because this, this is usually the air. These are usually the places where nether fortresses spawn, so, um, that's why it's, uh, a good place to try to find nether fortresses, um, anyways, looks like I can go back to the overworld now. Um, oh, we even picked up that, uh, fence gate that was accidentally... Uh, deposited into the nether portal while I was uh, mining. Now looks like we are all set and I can go up to the surface. Now as you can see all of the glass blocks are now uh, looks like now all the glass blocks are I have put down all the glass blocks that I need to put down uh, now we have this completely full funnel and I'd actually like to say that Compared to going from my base from the surface level down to on to the underground level The nether portal is actually pretty close to the surface of the water So I don't really think that creating uh, another another type of I guess tunnel type of tube glass tube down from my uh, nether uh, portal type of glass tube down underground would be kind of inefficient other than for mining uh, stone purposes and maybe creating a tunnel, but even then that wouldn't be very efficient um, So anyway, I'm very glad that I'm out of the nether. Hopefully I can um, Hopefully I can recover some of the items that I lost I don't think I lost that many items although what bothers me most is I don't really know the type of I don't really recall any items that I did lose because when I think about it uh, I can't really think of any items that I lost. Uh, I can only there we go. There we go. And this is exactly why I need uh, a good dock, is because these boats just keep uh, always um, just going out this far. Uh, so anyway, I think I also oh also another thing that I did off camera is I breeded all all these chickens and as you can see there's much less chickens in there now I breeded all the chickens and I killed off a lot of the chickens so I have as you can see this is just being finished up smelting it has just finished smelting so we got another stack of cooked chicken so uh, if we had lost that that wouldn't be too much of a problem uh, and also another thing I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this uh, I just have to add another another glowstone block here, and then this is going to be fully finished. Uh, there we go, nice. I might actually even... I was actually even thinking about using... About placing these as uh, glowstone blocks like this. There we go, nice. That looks pretty nice out here with the glowstone, so... Uh, quite a bit of glowstone here, but this is just for my storage room. It provides a light source, and at the same time... Uh, I don't even think... I, I'm not even going to have any torches in here just for... Uh, Yeah, I think there's definitely enough light in here just from the glowstone, uh, just so the torches wouldn't ruin the the modern type of uh, stylish look. Um, I just have these glowstone blocks up here to provide a source of light, and also at the same time because, uh, as you can see, I'm able to open uh, things without it jamming. Well, I mean, because if this were a solid block, then the chest wouldn't be able to be opened. Uh, now I'm, gonna, I'm going to put the magenta cream in here because this is kind of like my uh, brewing chest. Although on the other hand, I think it would fit much better in my uh, nether chest rather than in my in that chest over there. Uh, so let me just craft some quartz blocks. Now I hope this will be enough for my purposes. I'm pretty sure that will be enough. Wow, I really do like how nether blocks look like. Those pretty quick to mine as well. Um, now, I guess I'm going to need more cobblestone if I want to make uh, if I want to make uh, a dock. I'm going to need more cobblestone and uh, let's see. Let me just put the soul sand in here for now. Now, what I was thinking about for a while now is I have been wanting to make a type of uh, I've been wanting to make a cobblestone generator for a while now, and this seems like the perfect time to do so right now. Let me just put down my uh, iron sword. Um, oh yes, I lost all. I lost both my stone swords. That's just not too bad. Um, there we go. Nice. Uh, 
And I'm also gonna have to craft more stone pickaxes. I didn't really lose anything important. In fact, I probably lost the most unimportant things. Uh, and thankfully, I don't really carry around much really important things with me, to, especially to the nether, so that's uh, definitely a plus side. Um, so anyway, I am going to make... Uh, I'm going to make... Uh, let's see. Gotta take this lava from here. I'm going to make... A cobblestone generator and to do that I'm going to let's see where should I actually create my cobblestone generator I think that this would be the perfect spot to do that somewhere probably over here I guess uh, maybe a little bit over to the side uh, I wouldn't want it to be too close although it seems like the right here right here and right here would be the perfect spot although I wouldn't want it to block this entrance right here where I'm going to the nether so um, I guess this would be the perfect spot to do that. Uh, now I'm just trying to refresh my brain. Exactly what do I have to? Exactly what do I have to build? Uh, let's see. Um, looks like I have to go down here. Um, I guess at first I'm just gonna use uh, a nether rack block just because. Um, I don't really have any other, uh, well, I mean, I have six blocks of stone, but other than that, uh, pretty much don't really have anything else to use. Um, about that, guys, I just had to take the door because somebody came to my house, so I had to go and open the door for them. But anyways, let me finish this up. The episode is getting kind of long, so I'm going to try to finish this up as fast as I can. Um... So, let me see, how how do I want to do this? Uh, so, there's going to be one, like, pretty sure it's something like this, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and then let's uh, build a little border here. Ooh, I'm running out of uh, air. I, got, I gotta get up. Oh, oh my goodness, there you go. Oh, that was close. I uh, can't see anything here. Do I have any torches? Oh yeah, I could just use the torches to uh, breathe some air like this. That's what I usually do. Um, so let me cover this up here as well. And let's go and deposit our lava and water so I can finally finish my first cobblestone generator. Now this isn't exactly... Oh, there's still some... Uh... Oh yes, I still have to uh... do this. There you go. So... I gotta say that uh, while there is a lot of stone down there, it kind of takes a really long time to go down there and back up here, so it's really great to actually make a cobblestone generator because that way I don't have to run back and forth. Although, if I need to get a lot of stone, then cobblestone, then I'm still gonna go down there. But if I just need a little bit of stone like I need now, I'm just gonna use this cobblestone generator here, so let's pour our lava and water out. Now, I hope this is going to work. I'm pretty sure, um, place a block here. Yes, there we go. So, get some water from here. Nice, nice. So, pour the water in here, and in theory, when we break this block, we should get cobblestone. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, let me go and craft another, um, pickaxe, because this one is about to break. It's kind of confusing because I don't really know where, um, which block is because this is all made out of cobblestone, so I think I might, uh, what, what, what kind of other block do we have, huh? I mean, I have sand. I could cover it up with glass. Yeah, I think that would be nice, so, uh, let's see. I don't think, oh yes, I, I ran out of all my glass that I had because, uh, I was, um, when I was building that underwater portal room where my nether portal came out. Hey, why are there any mobs going down? What? How am I unpeaceful? The heck? Oh, I must have, um... Because I played Minecraft, um, sometime, and I switched it to peaceful, so it caused all my worlds to get switched to peaceful. That's fine, though. I didn't know I was unpeaceful. Um... I'm glad that my mob grinder is now up and running again, and now we have mobs falling down again. Hopefully we could get some... 
I want to get some iron so we could craft some hoppers so I could make it all automated so I don't have to come here and collect it all the time. Um, let me see. Mm, interesting. So I'm going to lay out, lay this out in netherrack. It's not the most appealing block, but at least it's, uh, it kind of looks like I want to have it, I wanted it to have like this type of nethery look, so it looks like it's in the nether because there is a lot of lava here, so. Wait, why is, uh, I think my graphics aren't fast because, um, of the, of the way the items are showing up. Yeah, we gotta set it to fancy. Use VSync. Yeah, that's weird. All my, all my, um, all my settings are like messed up. Cause oh, it's gonna be kind of hard to get back up here again. So let me just go right here. It's interesting with the water mechanics how when it's flowing down here, it's not gonna flow here since it's already like from there. Oh, we lost quite a bit of cobblestone there, but that's fine. Um, nice. So this is just gonna have this little outline for our cobblestone generator. So actually, what I might do is um, I do have one piece of obsidian, and obsidian is quite expensive. So, oh, actually, on the other hand. Um, I might, I might just cast, yes, I'm just gonna go and cast something, so, um, I'm gonna cast a piece of obsidian here, so, I'm gonna put a piece of lava here, yes, right over here, and then I'm gonna pour some water on top of it, and to get lava, I gotta go to the nether again, so, let's go to the nether to get another piece of lava, hopefully I'm not gonna die like I did before. <laughs> Nice little base here. Oh, we still have a ton of quartz on us. Gotta be careful there. Oh, <laughs> Pigman. Swimming up there. Um, let's see, where... I should have established a type of area for me to gather my... Ooh, I don't wanna go there. Cause that's, last time that's where I died. So, I might wanna gather this glowstone sometime. So, uh, let, me, let me see. Yeah, unfortunately, all the big lava lakes are... Oh my goodness. All the big lava lakes are, like, really far down, so it makes it really difficult for me to gather lava, but I really do need one piece of lava. I could use just the, that one obsidian piece that I already have, but I don't want to use it because it's an item and I can place it, but I don't have any diamond pickaxes to mine obsidian, so it's just much better to cast it rather than to have to... Um, rather than to have to craft and a uh, diamond pickaxe. I only have three, I only have three diamonds, so I can only craft one diamond pickaxe. Oh, there we go, that's, that's nice. Wow, that's a really great area for gathering lava. Might use this place. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I do only have one bucket because uh, iron is obviously very scarce. It's very hard to get iron. Um, I think this bucket that I crafted, I only got it from some villagers that I found when I was raiding blacksmith villagers. I found some iron ingots. Um, or it was in bucket form already, I kind of forgot, so. Nice, we have this one piece of lava, and we already have gas shooting at us, so let's get the heck out of here. Now, I was actually thinking, if, uh, when, if and when I get more iron, um, I think, I think exactly five pieces, uh, five ingots, uh, um, in exact terms, I am probably going to craft, um, hopper, so I can make a fully automatic chicken farm, so. That's another thing that's in the plans. So, do we have any boats? I hope we have some boats up there. That's pretty cool. Although it's kind of a little bit um, it's kind of cumbersome because I have to always swim back to my base and my Nether portal comes out the wrong way. I'm not really even sure why that is. I just guess that's how the mechanics work. I am kind of surprised that I don't have a crafting table here. Oh. I already have a crafting table here. There you go. Nice. So, uh, let me place it down here. And then I might make a little chest here where I'm going to put some boats. So, uh, let's craft some boats. 
I really like these older boats much better than they are in um, Minecraft 1.12, the current version. Uh, this is Minecraft 1.7.10, if you're not aware. Um, so, yes, there we go, my base over there. Nice, I love this huge mob grinder. That mob grinder took tons and tons of cobblestone to build, oh my goodness, but... Uh, it's giving really great products. Uh, also, another thing that's in the works, but I'm not going to do it today I'm in this episode because um, I'm kind of running out of time. I'm kind of running out of time, so I don't think I'm going to do it uh, today. But uh, yeah. I'm planning to soon build a little type of a dock with soul sand yeah. around this so that I can... Um, yeah. So that I can have... A little dock where I can crash my boats in without them breaking, so that's gonna be a nice thing. I might actually add some dispensers, maybe some redstone systems once I get a little bit more redstone. Um, how much redstone do I actually have? Ooh, I actually, I might, I probably should place uh, signs on these chests. Oh wow, we have tons of redstone. Nice, nice. I, I, lo I absolutely love this mob grinder. It's uh, been very, very great for me. Uh, let's see, we have any more signs? Um, oh, for, uh, the first orders that we're gonna craft, uh, well, not craft, but um, cast this piece of obsidian here, so that's gonna prevent us from breaking it when we're mining. Uh, there we go, nice. That took a while, but that's gonna be very great. And as you can see, so that basically allows me to AFK because. I can hold down my mouse button, and then I can mine it this way, and then since there's uh, obsidian behind there, it's not going to ever, um... Well, I mean, uh, you can technically break obsidian with a stone pickaxe, but with the short amount of time, you can't really break it. Although, if there was cobblestone or anything back here, then there'd be a chance that I'd break it, so... That's just this little installation, nice touch that I like to do. Although, if I want a lot of, uh, cobblestone, uh, like I said before, I'm mostly just gonna go down there to get it. Um, so, the last thing that I'm gonna do in this episode is I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to make some signs. Let's see, do we have any signs? Uh, let me craft some signs, uh, a little bit. It's nice, I have a lot of wood, which is really great, because, uh, I hate being low on wood, so. And then let's go, uh, surround this up here, so. This is gonna be... String. For some reason, I can't type today, for whatever reason. And I'm not gonna write anything down here, because that's just kinda inferred. So this is gonna be, um... Potions. And yes, I can still open it. Wow, I have so much, oh my goodness, so much glass bottles. Uh, but then again, I have sand in this world, so glass bottles aren't as useful if, uh, as if they were in, um, for example, in a skyblock world. You have, so right here we have rotten flesh. It may come in useful if I ever upgrade to 1.8 so that we can trade it with villagers. So, right here, I'm gonna just say... Other witch drops redstone glow glowstone just as an example. So nice, nice, nice. Um, and here we have gunpowder, which in this world it's pretty useful because we have access to sand, which means that I can craft TNT. I'm probably gonna use most of it anyway. So right here, ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to craft another sign. So right here we have arrows. I mean I can remember all this stuff, although it's it's better I think to uh, mark everything just in case I forget. Um, I sometimes don't play these worlds for a while. Like I actually I haven't played this world in a very very long time. Um, when I just came back after, when I just was starting to build my um, cobblestone generator, I actually haven't played this world in a month. So, although I'm playing this, uh, this is one episode, I'm filming this over the course of probably two months or so. Uh, which is freaking crazy, because I just hadn't had time to film, uh, or continue filming this episode. So, um, that's why signage and organization is very important. So, that's where my bones are going to be. And nice, I really love how this looks like, all the 
nice glowstone and i am getting a lot of glowstone from the witches so we do have a lot of redstone and i think this is going to be more than enough redstone to build our automated dock uh so i'm not i'm gonna have it i'm not gonna have it uh use any types of uh hoppers or anything that uses iron because i don't have access to that Ooh. oh shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done that there we go nice Great, we got some more redstone. Awesome. Let's go deposit this back in here. Just organize some of this stuff here. Ouch. He's getting poisoned. And then I usually just put them in here, so... Um, let's see. I can actually use some organization here. There's, uh, this kind of, uh all messed up now so let me just organize this and as soon as i do that i'm going to finish this episode well, i gotta regen some health because i'm about to die my goodness so much string i love this i absolutely love this mob grinder this is probably the best thing that happened to let's play um very useful for getting uh, wool. I pretty much the only way to get wool from is from string because there's obviously no animals in here. Like that, so. um, let me get some of these arrows here. So remember to uh, make a full row of these before depositing them. So now I always keep a stack of arrows with me, so I don't deposit that. Uh, so we get some bones as well. Take some of these and uh, do this. Bones are going to be very, they are very important too because uh, I use them to farm. Um, farm wheat and stuff like that. I, I might actually make a fully, uh, there's a way how to make this design AF cable, so where you have a piston and it just keeps on moving up and down, and that way when you plant something you can collect it. Uh, I don't think it uses any hoppers, I'm pretty sure it uses only one piston, which requires only one uh, iron ingot, so, and I do have slime balls too, so I can make a sticky piston, so, as soon as I get one iron ingot, or I already have one iron ingot, I can actually craft a piston, and then can make a little AF cable, um, wheat, chicken, not, not chicken, but uh, a wheat, a carrot, potato, anything like that type of farm. Uh, which is going to use a lot of bone meal. That's going to be nice. That's going to be useful when we start trading with villagers, because I am planning to have, I am planning to have a villager trading center uh, and a villager breeder, and that's going to be very useful because I'm going to need um, wheat to trade with the farmers, and that's going to be my main source of emeralds. So, but that's going to be a little farther out there. So, I'm not really thinking about that as of right now. So, let me collect this stuff here, and then let me deposit it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Wait, no. Oh, right over here. Kind of gets lost. No. Just accidental. Um, so nice. Now our um, I hope I hope this warehouse that I have here doesn't really overflow because in any case I'm gonna have to probably build a larger warehouse to store all my stuff. Um, so I really love this island. It's really small. It's really nice too. Um, let's see. I think somewhere out there we have our, um, we have the area where I just started. There was this little pipe there or something. Um, maybe I can't see it because my render distance is off. I don't remember water looking like this for some reason. It kind of looks really weird. Uh, and you have all these particle effects. Uh, so anyways, um... Thank you very much for watching, guys. This was Minecraft here. Um, I'm going to end the episode now. Uh, now, as far as off-camera work goes, I might... Um, I am kind of running low on cobblestone, so I'm probably going to go down there and mine some cobblestone, so I have some more cobble for future projects. I'm not going to use the cobblestone generator uh, much because... Um, I'm not going to use the cobblestone generator much because... I don't really want to AFK, and it's kind of cumbersome, and I have to switch pickaxes, and then um, mining stone is actually faster than cobblestone, and that way it's actually faster, uh, unless, of course, I AFK and I go do something else in real life. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is my Kralix here. Uh, expect more episodes sooner, later on, and um, I like to say um, you're probably watching this much later on, but uh, 
I'm currently filming this, and it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the last day of 2017, so New Year is going to be in a few hours, so I wish you all a happy 2018, I wish you all guys a happy New Year, this was a very, very great year for my channel, and I expect, I hope that the next year will be even greater, um, I'm definitely not going to give up on my channel, I have not been posting very much in recent, uh, in recent weeks, and recent months, but, Hopefully, I'm going to go a little bit more on that. Um, I've been really, really busy with stuff and just life. And uh, a lot of stuff have been coming up, which have been kind of difficult for me. A lot of things I had to deal with. Um, but um, hopefully, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that these things are going to be ruled out. And I'm once again going to have a lot of time to post more Minecraft videos. So, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Mike Relix here. And, uh, yeah. See you all guys in the next video.